Why is it that animals grow old and die? Do they, do they just wear out like, like machines? An example of a machine is like a wristwatch or a car. Mechanical machines are, have physical parts that move against each other. No matter how carefully made a machine is, no matter how carefully made or how well lubricated, a machine is going to wear out and quit working. As educators and students and even as scientists, it's helpful to look at molecular biology as mechanical machinery so that an enzyme is a, is a physical machine with moving parts that push and pull and even turn. Nucleotide triphosphates are like, like there's like a physical tension, mechanical tension within the molecule that can be used to do work in other ways. But the analogy of enzymes being machines is completely wrong. Enzymes are not machines. They don't behave like machines. And the image that life is like an animal is a machine that eventually wears out is completely wrong. Life is all about renewal and regeneration and rebirth. And there's really no reason why the machinery of life has to include death. It's clear, it's clear that Death, animals die because they're programmed to die. Death is, is part of the plan. Um, a neat genetic trick would be to take the genes for the antioxidant systems and put them on the telomeres. And then as the telomeres, as the telomeres get shorter, the antioxidant systems would um, quit working and the free radicals would take over and destroy the cell. The free radical theory of aging goes back to Denon, 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 Denon Harmon in the 1950s. It's not a new theory. I think the, the, the key to it might be in our language. We are human beings. It's a plural. It's never about the individual. The idea is we grow up, turn into adults, reproduce, and die. And the death is part of the, part of the plan. I'm um, turning 65 in a few months. I guess I'm. I, 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 I guess I'm okay with it.